we want to start the spread of positivity. So this is the positive contagion. And today I had a thought as I was in a park, I was working out, I was working on some pull-ups, some inversions, working on some gymnastics, because um, I'm not a gymnast, but I really want to learn how to do different gymnastic exercises. But I realized as I was walking out of the park that motivation, you know, some people think, oh, you're such a self-motivated individual. You know, motivation comes so easily for you. And it's something that I feel like people think, okay, I'm either self-motivated or I have no motivation at all. And I think that's, I believe that everyone actually has a self-motivated side and an unmotivated side. And what determines which side comes out is what it is that you're doing and whether or not you believe and have faith that it's possible for you. So here's what I mean. So for, oh, I want to say two and a half years, I, two and a half years ago, I was taking an acro class and I got really great at back walkovers, front walkovers. I was doing like seven or eight back walkovers fluidly in a row. And I was like, wow, I never thought I'd get here. And then time went on. I wasn't taking the acro class anymore. I lost that skill. And this quarantine, you know, had me kind of like, maybe I should try to work on some gymnastic stuff, work on handstands. And I wasn't, I wasn't motivated. It didn't click. I didn't keep up with it. And last week I had a moment where I said, okay, but what would happen if you learned these skills? What would happen if you got those back walkovers back and front walkovers and maybe learned handsprings or an aerial and you could put that on your resume? What could that do for your career? And then that made me start thinking like, okay, what, 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 what weight does me learning that skill actually have? And I realized, ooh, this could totally push my career somewhere different. It could, it could expand what I'm able to do. Not only do I dance and act, I'm working on my singing and having gymnastics and doing aerial silks, being able to do such a variety of things. I'm like, yes, I want to be able to do that. And I developed this motivation. So this past week, I have gone to this park three times to work on pull-ups, to work on the gymnastic moves. And I'm going to keep going until I see progress, until I see it happen, until I get where I'm trying to go. You see now, I have that self-motivation to do it. I don't need anybody else to tell me, hey, don't forget, you need to go do that. You need to go work on that. I don't need that. I have self-motivation in that way. I have self-motivation to work out, to stay fit, to continue dancing because it is a core part of my being. And I think that's where self-motivation comes in. Your self-motivation is tied to what is core to you as an individual. So some people might think, I have zero motivation. I'm so unmotivated. Don't take that as a bad thing. I get unmotivated too. There are things in my life that I am so unmotivated to do. And the reason I'm not motivated to do those things is because they're not core to my being. If I didn't have them, my soul would be fine. I wouldn't be aching. I wouldn't be longing for something. See, your motivation is found when you are working towards the very thing that without it, you feel empty. You feel like you're lacking if that's not a part of you. So for instance, I have the discipline of waking up every single day and reading my Bible. Christ is the core of my being. He is the center of my life. So that doesn't even really take motivation for me. It's just something that I love to do because it opens my understanding to who I am, who God is, who God made me to be, and my relation with the people in my life. It has really transformed the way I think and the way I see things, the way I perceive things. And so that is something that is core to my being. And so I will get up every day and do that. Now, there are other things, you know, like reading. I like to read. I really like to read. But if I don't read, 
I'm fine. My soul is okay. I'm all right. Life keeps going. If I don't have God in my life every day, forget it. I need that. So your motivation is kind of determined by what it is that you need in your life and what it is that you're seeking and how attached you are to that. How desperately do you desire this thing? How empty would your life feel without it? That's going to gauge your self-motivation. So if you kind of are somebody that's like, I have zero motivation in anything, take hope that A, when you're unmotivated, this is why we have people in our lives. It's called accountability. Sometimes we need a tough love. Sometimes we need a little push on the tush and just go. Like, if you're around the right people, they're going to help you get to where you're going to go. Or tell you, hey, maybe that's not the way you should go. They're going to they're gonna tell you like it is. But there are people in your life for a reason. Let them encourage you and support you. They're not going to drag you along, but they can be used as a source of motivation. And you can take hope knowing that if you haven't found that self-motivation yet, perhaps it's just because you haven't exactly found the core of your being. So keep searching. Keep looking. You're going to find what brings you purpose. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29, 11. God's got a plan for you. There is a plan for you. You were designed meticulously, very specifically, the way you were for a reason. Therefore, there's a purpose for you. And if you haven't found it yet, turn to the Lord. Turn to others who are strong in faith and let them walk with you. You're not meant to walk alone. So on your search for motivation, on your search for the core of your being, know that you don't have to do that by yourself, but know that you should keep going and that you can keep going because there's a point to you being on this earth. Please remember that. Always remember that. And so on that note, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, thank you for taking time to check this out. I hope that this was encouraging or motivating in some way, shape, or form. If you need some encouragement, if you need some support, if you're looking for motivation, I'm more than happy to help. Send me a message. I'd love to chat. And if you are somebody who is self-motivated, I would love if you shared in the comments below what you are motivated to do and why. So in that, have a wonderful evening. Happy Friday. Have a beautiful weekend. And God bless.